How many of you when you were younger, or you may have children today, use a nightlight at night when they sleep? There's something about darkness that leaves us uneasy. There's something about darkness for whatever reason that has bad things that come out. If you look at crime rates, they tend to go skyrocketing once it gets to the dark. And the reason for that is people think that what you do wrong or what is going on at that time can't be seen. And for the most part, it can't be seen by us, and yet it can be seen by God. And yet having a little bit of light brings comfort. That's why at night we leave a front porch light on. We leave lights on in the house. We leave a nightlight on for our child. So if they were to wake up, instead of it being completely dark, that little bit of light would bring comfort. Jesus says in the Gospel of John that I am the light of the world. And the reason he said that is because this is a dark world. It was dark then and it is dark now and we need to see light. This may be something you didn't know, but there is no such thing as darkness. All darkness is, is the absence of light. That's why a flashlight was invented, not a dark light, not something that just creates darkness, not something that just shows shadows. In that darkness, we need a piercing light. We need an example. We need something that shows us goodness and eternity, which is what Jesus did for each one of us. And it's also something that we need to do as well. We need to be that light in this dark world. So where is it in your life that you can be that light just as Jesus was that light? And he said, I am the light of the world.